Hello. In this video, I'm going to cover um, just basic putting paint on the screen. This is um, painted screen kits. You can check out our other videos on YouTube. And like I said, today we're just doing a basic paint on the screen and how to deal with plugged holes. I won't be going into any shading or contouring or color mixing. That will be covered in another video. This is a pattern we did from the last uh, video where I transferred the poppies onto the screen. Um, you'll still need uh, the black plastic or something to protect your work surface. I like the black. It makes the uh, image show up better. Um, some rinse water, which I have in a bucket over here. A couple of paper towels. And I've taken my paint and I've put it on a paper plate. I like to work this way a little bit better than out of the... Um, pots of paint. So let's get started. The deal about uh, painting on a screen is you want to keep it very dry. The wetter it gets, the more you're going to plug up the holes. So um, you don't want a big glob of paint like that on your brush or you're just going to make a mess. So wipe most of that off and then just start. Once again, I got it on a block of wood to lift it up off the screen or off the work surface so it's not uh, sticking the screen to the plastic as I paint. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, start painting. Um, once this is dry in the next video, I will cover um, shading, contouring, how to make your leaves look more, uh, your petals look more lifelike. But this is your basics. Notice how it's pretty dry so it's not plugging up my screen holes too much. Um, if you get too wet, I'll show you that here in a minute and plug up a few intentionally. It just makes a mess and makes more work for you. I'm going to leave the center part kind of open for a dark background. Yellow's pretty intense, isn't it? You can see here it's starting to plug up a little bit. You can take your paper towel, blot a little of it out. Some people like to blow through it with this paint. Um, I find that doesn't work very well. If you're using thinner, cheaper paint, it works well, but you're going to spend a lot of time blowing. You're better off using a quality paint. So you can see the poppy's filling in nicely. First one here. This yellow is really nice, rich, intense color. Makes the work a lot quicker and easier. Notice I'm painting right over the lines. I'm not just painting up to them, I'm painting over them. You can see some of these holes that are plugging up. If I go back in and work them a little bit, they come out. This one here is not coming out for me. I'm going to go behind it, lift off a little bit. And there we go. If all else fails, take that toothpick pick that comes with your kit. And gently just pop those little bubbles in there, open them back up. So there's our first flower pretty much painted. Like I said, the drier you keep your brush, the less work it's going to be. Don't worry about um, things aren't exact. These patterns are just guides. You can change them. You can add to them. And make your own shapes. This is just to get you started. So there's our first one. Let's go to the next one. Like I said, the next video will cover shading, contouring, color mixing. There we go for that one. And the final yellow poppy. Now these patterns can be resized to whatever size works for your window. Um, you can cut them apart, pick and choose which pieces you want, place them wherever you want. If you want one up in a corner, great, put it up there. The cat patterns are pretty much life-sized. 
um, but you can still enlarge them, decrease them, whatever works for your window. In later videos, I'll be covering how to do a complete screen where the picture covers the whole screen. But these are just the basics of getting the paint on the screen, getting the pattern on the screen, and to let you know what's in the kits. In the kit, you get the paints, the brushes, the pattern, and the directions. So there's the yellow flowers. I'm going to rinse the yellow out of my brush here. And I'm going to use the same brush. I get most, most of the moisture out of it because the wetter it is, the more it plugs up. And we're going to go into our green. And we're going to start in on the stems. Like I said, paint right over those lines. And you can see how that green's a lot wetter than the yellow was. And just pull it down. You'll have to excuse me, I'm reaching through the tripod to uh, get a hold of this one. Like I said, if you make a few mistakes, don't worry. We'll figure out how to fix those as we go. Right over those lines. At this point, I usually have tape on the edges. Being this is a pretty simple pattern, I wasn't too worried about it this time. There we go. There's one stem. You'll notice against that black background, the colors stand out a little bit. If you're working on a light colored background, it gets a little harder to see. That's one thing about these screens, if you look at them from an angle, the picture will pretty much disappear. They have a very, very long tradition in the Baltimore area. People living in the apartments painted their window screens for privacy. You could still see out, but people couldn't see in because they were looking up at them at an angle. And there's still quite a few screen painting artists in the Baltimore area. You can find some of their work on YouTube. If you're interested in buying screens to paint or pre-painted screens, there's a lot of artists on Etsy. If you want, do your own. Sell them on Etsy. Some of these painted screens are selling for about $50 a piece. Final stem here. And get a little more of that line covered up. Okay, there's the basics of getting the paint on the screen. I'm going to uh, rinse out my brush one more time. show you what happens if you get the paint on too thick. Let's give you a little better example this time. Um, right here where you can see it. You can see how it's plugging up those holes. Okay, I found my toothpick. There it is. Just go ahead. Very gently just poke them. Sometimes you'll have to dry that excess paint off the toothpicks. 
if you want brighter more intense colors you can go back over them again but I think by the time I do the shading and the contouring it will be great so you can buy your kits on Amazon look under JC needles painted screen kits you can come to my website and find them jcneedles.com click on the store icon and uh, Hope everybody enjoys their painting experience. Look here, I have some little bits in here where it was extra wet right after I rinsed the brush. Clean them out now. Once they dry, they're hard to deal with. This one I think will dab a little bit. There we go. So, there we go. There's our first coat of the poppies in yellow. The next video will deal with color mixing and contouring and shading. Thank you all. Please check back for more videos.